In this video, we take a look at cybersecurity and cybersecurity threats. So, first of all, let's start by discussing what actually is cybersecurity. Well, it's a broad term, but basically, it means the processes, practices, and technologies designed to protect networks, computers, programs, and their data from attack, damaged, and unauthorized access. There are all sorts of threats to consider when thinking about cybersecurity, but there are a number specifically that you need to know about for the GCSE exam, and they're social engineering techniques, malicious code, farming, weak and default passwords, misconfigured access rights, removable media and unpatched and or out of date software. Let's take a look at these now. So the first is social engineering. Now there are many areas here to consider. And again, the three social engineering threats and techniques you need to know about are blagging, phishing and shouldering. We will list the three here, but we're not going to go into much more detail in this video beyond introducing those terms, as we have a separate specific video coming up later on social engineering threats. In essence, social engineering is simply the art of manipulating people so they give up confidential information. Next up is malicious code. So this is any computer code which has been written with the intent to cause damage, disruption or inconvenience. There are many forms and categories of malicious code, such as viruses, trojans, spyware, and many more. And they all fall under a kind of umbrella term that we simply call malware. Again, we've got another video called malware that's gonna look at this in a little bit more detail later on. The next security threat, and this is a big one, is weak and default passwords. This sounds really obvious, but a common security threat to systems and networks is that people simply don't change the default password they're given when they first access a system, or worse, they change it to a really common or easily hackable password. Some of the most common passwords in use today is indeed the word pass or password and secret, log me in. All of these passwords be hacked or cracked almost instantaneously. There's a great site called howsecureismypassword.net where you can type in passwords and actually see roughly how long it would take to crack your password. You might be quite surprised. Another security threat is misconfigured access rights. Now, unlike passwords, which are usually the fault of an individual user, this usually comes down to network administrators and system administrators. Are they correctly configuring access rights to determine who can access which parts of a system? A key example here would be a situation of a school. As a student, you will log on to your school network and your administrators will have configured your access rights so you have certain permissions. It's likely that you will have full control of an area that's yours and personal, where you can save your files and your folders. This is probably some, called something like a home drive. You may also have access to another area on the network, but your access rights here may be different. Perhaps there's an area set aside so teachers can provide resources to you. You might be able to read all the files in here, but you might not be able to modify, delete them or change them. A different user, let's say a teacher user, might have their access rights configured differently. And indeed, someone else in the finance department may have a completely different set of access rights. Another big threat is removable media. And by this, we mean any secondary storage device, which you can easily connect to a computing device and then again, easily remove from the building or premises. Typical examples of this include USB pens and flash drives, optical disks, portable desktop hard drives and memory cards. 
These are what we call uncontrolled devices, and they could easily contain harmful software in the form of malware, which is then introduced to a local area network, thus totally bypassing a firewall. This is not necessarily done with intent, it could be purely accidental. And lots of schools and institutions simply get round this by preventing things such as USB pens from being brought onto premises, or if indeed they are and they're put plugged into a machine, they simply are unaccessible. The last threat to consider is updated and or out of date software. So when software is released, it's often far from perfect. It contains bugs or flaws which can be exploited by malware. Now this may seem unusual to you that a professional company would release software with flaws in it, but if we take something like an operating system such as Windows 10, that contains billions of lines of code. Despite the most experienced team of developers and testers and the most extensive process of testing and reviewing, software such as this will undoubtedly have bugs or flaws which won't be discovered until it's released to the community. As flaws are discovered, companies develop fixes or patches. It's really important to make sure software, especially operating system software, is always up to date with all the latest patches. You may own a smartphone and you're probably used to the concept of downloading and installing updates to your smartphone software. Sometimes this is to provide more features, but other times it's simply to fix a bug or security flaw which has been discovered. So just to recap, cybersecurity is the processes, practices and various technologies designed to protect networks, computer, programs and data from attack, damage and unauthorised access. On the screen here, you can see the six cybersecurity threats that you are specifically required to know about for the GCSE, along with a line explaining each one. Pause the video and take some notes.